Now, MLK Day. <clears throat> what does it mean? Here's a reminder for anyone like me who ponders their relationship to the man and the message that this day is about. Martin Luther King Jr., the man who had a dream. Great words and deeds. Much respect to and for his unfinished work. The answer According to the doctor, though, to the question of, well, what, does this really have anything to do with me? I mean, I'm not a black American, you know, it's not that. I mean, I, I, I don't, you know, I don't like racism, you know. It's not enough to not like racism or not to be racist. You've got to be anti-racist. And the doctor's answer would be, it is about you, not only if you're not black, but especially if you're not back, black. Of course, the inspiration of the message so many of the doctor's messages were directed at blacks. They were actively being denied and victimized. The aspiration, however, and the motivation was as much directed at everyone else, those who were underserved, those who need to see the responsibility to help others and themselves as a collective cause. That's who he was speaking to. Now, today, you know, we get all confused about it. Well, it's his birthday. Well, actually, it isn't. His birthday is the 15th. This is just the closest Monday to it. That's why it's the national holiday. He was born on the 15th. He died April 4th. It's not that either. We're not commemorating his death. April 4th, 1968, 55 years ago now. Assassinated for his words, thoughts, activism. This is a day about remembering the man, but also the unfinished work. And understanding the man for what he wrote and what is written about him, it is highly doubtful in my estimation that he would want to be celebrated being born anymore, and, and anyway, let alone uh, being killed. He would want his messages and reckoning of the righteous purpose that is the American ideal to be seen as much larger than just being about black America. In fact, we know that's what he would want. We know that his focus, his organization, his cause was to reach beyond color. Color, of course but also to class, poverty, need, the desperation for opportunity. That's the galvanizing principle, not just race. We know that in his last famous address about the mountaintop, he was at a garbage strike. It wasn't a race initiative. And as portentous as his words were about confronting death, he would be assassinated the next day. You remember he told the crowd, I may not make it to the promised land with you, and then sure enough, he was right. But we also know that the most desired change agent in his mind were not the politicians, the voters, or any particular race or class. Dr. Martin Luther King was speaking mostly to the individual present in every one of every type, the free agent who can determine their own choices and who has a responsibility to the whole. He was very much of the school of each one teach one. Own your role in change. His philosophy reflected it. His name reflected it. Yes, Dr. King was not born Martin, nor Martin Luther. He was born Michael. His father was so impressed by the teachings of Martin Luther, specifically the focus on the role and requirements of the individual, that you can't just base everything on tribe or a collective. It's about you and what you're going to be about and what you decide. He was so impressed that he took Martin Luther's name for himself and gave it to his son. So today, the man and his message loom large, but the power of it speaks to each of us to remember that we all have a role in creating a nation, a responsibility that includes the obvious imperative of being fair, being equal, being righteous in that, zealous in that, not to be racist, not to make race a distinguisher. But more so that we are interconnected and interdependent. We have to dare to care. That's the message of the day. Not to preach to you, but to make it obvious. It's not their day. It's not somebody else's day. It's not someone else's message. It's not one man. It's much bigger than that. It transcends race, class, party, certainly. So let's talk about a problem that we are confronting in real time that transcends race, class, certainly party. Everybody's affected about it pretty much equally. And it's a problem that kills without exception, and yet we do nothing about it. Hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. 
Then you will get more of News Nation's fact-driven coverage.